Should you buy shares in Cineworld, the second biggest chain of cinemas in the world? Okay, so we've all heard the news story about the spectacular decline in the share price of Cineworld. And I'm going to help extract exactly the relevant information to help you decide whether you should buy shares in Cineworld or not. So let's dig into the background a little bit of Cineworld. So it was actually incorporated in 2004 growing to become a worldwide institution operating in 751 sites with around 10,000 screens in the whole world. So let's talk about the prospect of buying this stock. In recent years, it's fallen dramatically from its peak of 300p a share down to now 4p a share, and damn, that's cheap. Even in March 2021, it was about 100p a share. So that means if you invest £5,000, say now, and it returns to March 2021 levels, you'd be sitting on £125,000. Other factors of interest are that its current market capitalization, the total value of all of its shares is $66 million, yet it has sales of $1.8 billion, fixed assets of $4.5 billion, and it's around sitting on about $350 million of cash. But what are the negatives, and why should you avoid this stock with a barge pole? Well, the company is facing imminent bankruptcy, due primarily to sitting on a big debt pile of around $8.8 .8 billion. If it sold all of its fixed assets, it would only be able to pay off half of this. And if it used all of its available cash of $350 million, it would only be able to pay off 4% of its debt. That is pitiful. Furthermore, its book value actually turned negative last year, so it's now minus $350 million, where it was about $3 billion positive in 2019. The book value in its simplified form is essentially just the total assets minus the total liabilities. And actually, it can be a very good marker to help you decide whether your share is worth anything or not, really. Given all this, the likelihood of realized bankruptcy is actually extremely high unless they pull off some sort of record rescue deal. And if they go bankrupt, it would most likely mean that your shares would be essentially worthless. Because as an ordinary shareholder, you're essentially bottom of the pile in the list of getting your money back. So it's very, very unlikely. So the short answer is it's most likely not worth buying stock in Cineworld, despite, and I can understand that there is a big temptation to do it to purchase this stock at really cheap values but the disciplined retail investor would avoid this with a barge pool due to just the inherent risks of bankruptcy.